In this segment, we examine aluminum MIG spool gun welding. With a MIG spool gun, the distance between the drive wheels and the tip is very short. This greatly reduces the chance of wire feed problems, especially when compared to other methods that see soft aluminum wire pushed through long cables. For this demonstration, the welder is an AMH Ultramig 200. The wire is 0 0.6 ER5356 aluminum alloy. The shielding gas is 100% argon at a flow rate of between 20 to 30 cubic feet per hour. The setup for spool gun welding is as follows. The welder is turned on. The type of welding is selected, aluminum. The wire is selected, then spool gun, and then the mode continuous. The Ultramig 200 is a synergic welder where the wire speed and current are controlled together by this knob on the spool gun. Now we're ready to weld, but first we need to prepare the aluminum to make it clean and free of contaminants. It's important that all tools used to work on and prep aluminum be kept separate from tools used on other metals. This eliminates the risk of contamination from any residue that could be left on non-dedicated tools. A stainless steel wire brush or a plastic strip disc works well for cleaning aluminum. There's also cleaning solutions that can be used in conjunction with the wire brush or strip disc. Once you've finished cleaning the aluminum, begin welding as soon as possible because oxidation begins to set in almost immediately. The recommended direction for welding aluminum is to push the weld puddle. This keeps the shielding gas towards the front of the puddle and improves the cleaning action. Because aluminum is such a good conductor of heat, the weld speed may have to be increased slightly during the weld in order to maintain a consistent weld bead. Two consistent problems with welding aluminum are cold starts and cratering at the weld finish. One way to combat these problems is with the use of run-on and run-off tabs. The tabs are clamped in place and serve as starting and finishing ramps leading to and away from the weld area. Once the weld is completed, they are removed leaving only the finished weld. Finally, Remember that practice and testing are the best way to establish correct settings in order to produce a good weld.